All right, so. Yeah, health up by two is pretty good. Also necessary. I now have the Switchblade. For slaying monsters of all sides, the Titan Reaper. Skills. Oh, my class is now Berserker. Oh, no. Uh, Vroom channels his anger to fast and brutal slashes. I still don't understand how to use the damn treasure map. Uh, I guess I go in here. Got a dark cloak because I'm nasty now. Da 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 da. That's a trash can. Uh oh. Oh God. You should not have come here, mouse. I'm passing through to Cranbale. Let me by, and I will make no trouble. Oh, you found trouble, friend. I am the predator, and you are the prey. You run, and I chase. That is the way of nature. Well, shoot. Who said anything about running? What's this? A mouse wielding a god weapon. Now I've seen it all. Very well. Show me your strength. Amuse me. Go Berserk, doubling up attacks for two turns. Ooh. Use Rage. Berserk. You're no predator. You're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. Ow. How dare you. Bah. Hacha. Impressive. But it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Is that a mole? Bao? What is this? Whoa! Is that a mouse? Sibohan, I think. A mouse knight fighting tiger? And getting booted out by tiger. Draggy, draggy. This sword is heavy as anything. How did that mouse knight even swing it? Ow. Oh, grand. You're not dead. Steady on your feet now. Are you hurt? Bow. Oh, don't touch that. Dun, dun, dun. I'm fine. Whoa, he's the real deal. Pardon? I saw you going paw to claw against Tiger. Blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Well, until he sent you flying, that is. I had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here? Where is here? Where is here, exactly? That's what I said, Vroom. Oh, right. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Ingenious little peoples. Welcome to... Cranbale. Oh, hey, I got here. Their barrels are deep. Their convictions deeper. <laughs> the the storytelling in this game is kind of amazing. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, I forgot to mark when I started this episode. And now I am not sure how long I've been recording for. So, oops. This is Cranbale, the Sanctuary of Knowledge. It is. Welcome, welcome. I'm Sibohan, daughter of... Oh, this is a girl. <laughs> daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. Oh, you shouldn't come meet her. Mommy doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine, fine. I have a question for her anyway. Lead the way. Now, am I seriously going to try to beat the Yellow God? Because let me tell you something, Verm. Uh, I don't know if that's possible for us to do. That old tiger is a right piece of work. Can't be doing anything when he's on the prowl. Welcome, welcome. Ah, an outsider. Welcome to Tullius. Take a gander at what's in stock. So what do we be? Armor. I need armor strong enough to withstand blows from titans and gods. 
I see. A full suit of plate armor then, is it? Sure, but I'll settle for chainmail. Fella, look around yourself. The shop sells bits and bobs for the humble people of Cranbell. Cooking ware, mining equipment, linens and such. This isn't a royal armory, yidget! Well, do you have anything I can use? I can do you a pair of high quality mole made boots, good for hiking or mining, and only five seeds. That's a fair price now, isn't it? What do you say? Deal. Sounds good, I'll take them. Grand. Pair of mole boots. Try to stay out of mischief. This village has seen enough adventure. Okay, that's plus three. Yeah, that's plus four. That's better. Alright, well, I don't need a weapon because I'm wielding the freaking god reaper. What is this? Is this the save point? It's a tin statue of a mo dressed in humble robes. The plaque reads, a rodent's life is short. A written story is eternal. That's deep. Lord Master Tobin, founder of the Cranbale Library. Oh, you can find, like, uh, mythological figures and pray at their statues. The crown is happy to take our seat for taxes, but where's the support when we need it, eh? Look, buddy, every royal family ever, huh? I can't play. My ma'am says it's not safe out. Ma'am. Ooh, library. Dear Ruth, I hope all's well at the nuke. Nuke? Nook? I wanted to pay a visit for the young king's coronation, but alas, Cranbell needs its librarian. Can I help you with something? The yellow... Do you happen to have any books on the yellow guy? Yep, that's the quest. <laughs> I can't say I've heard of such a thing. But in any case, we don't specialize in God studies here. Our collection is mostly historical and religious. These guys got religion? Books on the old way. Documents on the legacy of the Shrew Empire. That sort of thing. That's no good to me. Mm-hmm. I've heard many great things about Cranbale's library. It's actually why I came here. Mm-hmm. We do take pride in our literacy here. But you came at a bad time. The library is but a shadow of what it once was. First, our best scholars migrated to Murida for better opportunities. Then that accursed felony arrived and gobbled up half the village. All I can do now is manage the knowledge that remains. That's a shame. Mm hmm. The Old Way. Read it. To follow the path of the Old Way, thou must abide by three laws. Thou shalt not harm a god. Thou shalt avoid the god's gaze. Thou shalt not toy with a god's tours. Obey these laws, and rodents and god may live peacefully side by side, as they have done for thousands of years. Disobey these laws, and the gods will punish us with fire and suffering. Makes sense. The Rights of Masters by Lord Master Sylvia. As personal bodyguards to lords, ladies, kings, and queens, blade masters are required to be loyal, chivalrous, and of course, experienced in combat. In contrast, a lore master serves their leaves by offering wisdom gained from two whole seasons of study at a licensed university. <laughs> Larger cities often employ a variety of other masters to serve as advisors. Plague masters oversee the health of a colony. Seed masters manage the city's treasury. Build masters specialize in urban planning. Of course, all this fine counsel is irrelevant if a leaves refuses to listen, as is often the case. Ah, man. They just don't like monarchies in this game. The Pact of Five. Following the massacre on the Eastern Mire, Emperor Marcus wrote the Pact of Five. This legal document granted Rhodesian citizenship to five key species, the rats, the moles, the mice, the shrews, and the squirrels. Carnivores were explicitly excluded. Even now, long after the fall of the Shrew Empire and the rise of the Rat Monarchy, the pact is held as sacrosanct, forming the basis of modern Rhodesian law. Oh. Oh, no. I want to read this one. Wholesome mouse recipes. Oh. Sweet seed biscuits. Serves four or just one really hungry mouse. Need one cup of... Eight, one acorn cup of flour, one paw of mashed banana, one ground seed, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Mix ingredients, spread over a greased baking coin, <laughs> cook over candle flame for three minutes or in turn firm, eat warm or cool. Huh. Go trim book titled The Fables of Hussein. A young viper found herself stranded on the bank of a great river. After slithering for a while, she encountered a raven. I would be most grateful, said the viper, if you would fly me across the water. The raven squinted at the fanged worm before him. You're not going to bite me, are you? 
I wouldn't dream of such a thing, the viper replied. Her forked tongue flicked back and forth. This is the scorpion and the frog, isn't it? Against his better judgment, the raven agreed. He picked up the viper in his talons, spread his wings, and flew skyward. Soon enough, the two landed on the other side of the river, safe and unharmed. The viper bowed in thanks. Hold up, said the raven. Why didn't you bite me? You had every opportunity. Isn't biting in your nature? The viper smiled. In all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. Oh, I guess it, I don't understand the point of that, but that's good. Page, it's, that one's too old. Is this one too old too? Cannot understand most script. Okay. Okay, so she's probably wondering where the hell we went. So let's just go. You look like a sturdy lad. You're a warrior, are you not? I am. I knew it. You have those warrior eyes. I was a fighter in my youth too, I'll have you know. A member of Murder's Thimble Guard and all. I'm sure you were. Ha! Don't give me lip, lad. I may be past my prime, but I've had more fights than you've had dinners. I've got years of battle test and wisdom. Do tell. Go on then. What's the key? Weaknesses. Everyone has a weakness. If you use the right type of attack, you can exploit it. The right type of attack? Ah, you really are young. Let's see, how can I put this? There are four kinds. You've got your slashing attacks, that's swords. Then you've got bashing. Spears and pikes are piercing. And the fourth kind is... Is... Uh, come on, old man. Special attacks, like fire or water or whatever. You're making this up as you go, aren't you? Oh, shut your bake. This system is famous. Everyone has a weakness. Find and exploit. What about cats? So what's the weakness of a felony? Oh, that's what a cat is to them. Heh, <laughs> you're talking about Tiger? Wish I knew. I've seen more warriors slash, bash, and stab that kitty, but his fur is just too damn thick. No, if someone wanted to take that monster down, they would have to do something truly sp So I need to find a special attack. You see a book entitled Miss Molly's Book of Many Maladies. Read it. Bleeding. When Oh, these are status effects. When cut, a rodent bleeds. Small cuts will heal on their own, but large cuts may cause severe blood loss over time. Treat heavy bleeding with bandages. Stunned. A rodent who's been inflicted by the toxic venom of some foul creature may find themselves unable to move on. Stunning cures itself over time. Berserk. A rodent who is enraged will lash out with doubled fever. A berserked individual will eventually call down. Sessions with a therapist may alleviate future outbursts. Tipsy. A rodent who drinks alcohol may become tipsy. I mean, that's often why we do it. But a tipsy rodent will become most unreliable if needs drinking special. It's a mouse sword. The blade is dull, but the flu of quick points on the pommel shines bright. Oh, can I thought I was going to... Can I talk to you about that? Nope. It smells like warm and needle stew. Hearty mole cuisine. I was kind of hoping I'd, like, get an experience thing or skill point or something. What's this? Two seeds behind the rock. Oh, sweet. Uh, hang on. Hey, hey. Sweetie, hang on. I gotta go make sure I didn't miss anything else in your city. Just writing something down real quick. Sorry. I need to make sure I don't... The There wasn't anything in the library, but there were a couple of... Pickaxes. You have no need. Sturdy mushroom leather boots. They do not look comfortable. It's a hefty cauldron. You have no need. Rows of linen and fabric. Are these mole or god made? Yeah, I feel, feel like if I had said, give me a weapon, she would have been like, you got weapons way too big. Nope. Nothing here. Hang on, I gotta go check this little girl's room and rob it blind. Roll of bandages. Sweet. So even open chests in this game might have useful items for me. Interesting. I wonder if I can get a healer. Okay, I'm done robbing you people. This is the council room. Ready to go in? Yep. There we go. Oh my god, look at that porcupine! Sibelhorn, shouldn't you be studying? Who is this outsider? Interesting. 
Those look like the five types of peoples? Ancient hieroglyphics. Oh, yes, introductions. That's Lord Master Morvin on the left. Blade Master Neiman, the Hedge Knight on the right. And Mommy, I mean Lady Gilda of Cranbale in the middle. Mammy, this is... Uh, I didn't get your name. Verm. Right, Sir Verm. Sir? I'm not a knight. Really? Huh. Anyway, Mommy, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business. That stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might be actually able to... Calm yourself, young lady. S sorry Mommy. Mouse, you fought the Philodin. With a god weapon? What can I say? What can I say? Rodent weapons are so brittle. Such arrogance! To fight a god's pet with a god's weapon. This is sacrilege. Sacrilege of the worst kind, I say! In accordance with the laws of the old way, a punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try it, Pinecomb. See what happens. Everyone quiet. This mouse is a visitor. He is not bound by all local customs. We won't punish you, mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do, then take your leave. Fine, I didn't plan on sticking around anyway. But before I go, I need some information. I'm looking for the one known as the yellow... See, I'm going to find an exterminator, but is it necessarily the exterminator who killed my brother? The yellow god? I'm afraid we don't know any gods on a first name basis around here. Except for Cormac, I suppose. Have you heard of this yellow god, Lord Master Morvin? I'm afraid not, my lady. Perhaps this mouse should head to Merida. One million mice and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I'm sure one of them can be of assistance. That was going to be my next destination anyway. Very well. Take your leave, mouse. See ya. Ah, Sir Verm, wait up. Sibohan, may I have a word? Mingling with blaspheming vagabonds is most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady. You know I hate it. Young lady, you are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? Mommy, that fella there is killing us off one by one, and you aren't doing anything to stop it. Not another word. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with a vagabond? Well, Da's not here, is he? Sibohan! That rock-headed child... She thinks herself a warrior, her father's daughter, all right? Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Let me guess, your mom told you off for hanging around with strangers. Oh, she's crying. Wait, are you crying? No. I'm not good with this kind of thing. Mommy's so damn stuck up. Ever since Da died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the letter. No god tours, no god interference at all. But what good's that doing us? How does cowering in a burrow help get anyone when tigers on the prowl? I get it. Most ones would rather hide away than face real issues head on. But you seem like a smart kid. I'm sure you make it through this. Wait, before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yes, just something in the library. Alright, lead the way. Oh, do you have... <clears throat> do you have what I need to get past Tiger? Do, do, do. I was already in the library. I didn't see anything. Are you behaving yourself, Sibohan? I am anti... Uh, that's a woman too? Man, I can't tell. I'm so gender blind. I am anti energen Of course. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be studying? Uh, I should, but I was just going to show this visitor the illuminated manuscripts in the back. Mm-hmm. Stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts. Just follow me. Oh, you got something hidden back there? Because, yeah, that's not what they are. I'm not interested in some old books. Never mind the books. I've got something better. But you can't tell anyone about this, all right? Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. Hey, I'm serious. Promise me. All right, all right. I promise. A tunnel? I dug it myself. Come on. Where did you put the dirt when you were done with it? Whoa! A treasure trove, huh? Yep, god tours. I've been secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. You see this? It's a god's timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. 
This machine's a fancy god's toy, I think. I watched a young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen is all banjaxed, so I reckon it's missing a part. This is all fascinating, truly. But if you brought me down here just to show me your trinket collection... Wait, wait, you really like this next one. Do you know what this is? I've seen them around. I know they're a common god tour. Even better, a god weapon like yours. I've got it working. Even spruced it up to pack a proper punch. But it's in need of a field test. I thought I could use it. On Tiger. Give him what for. Maybe save the village. But I don't think I can. Not because I'm scared. I mean, I am scared, of course, but I get it. You do? You want to take that fella D down. But you know, attacking Tayo yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way. So you want me to lend my sword? Right, pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint. I don't do sell sword work. Sell sword work? I couldn't pay you if I wanted to. The village is flat out broke. I was hoping you would do it, you know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight. I didn't come here to do charity work. So go rally the thimble god or something. I'm out. And... Ah! I'm not running away. Severm? Are you okay? What happened to the music? You're really pitiful, you know that? Y yeah, I know. I'll help you. Really? Yeah. We'll go kill that filly. You can reap the glory or restore your village honor or whatever. Just make sure to follow my orders. Yes, Severm. To the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Do I get another party member? Thank you so much, Severm. Sibohan has joined the party. Well, at least if it all goes wrong, she'll make for a good distraction. I'm not a nice person. Well, I can up her defense by giving her the cloak. She's also level 2, so I have... And then she has just one, which is Pyromancer. I can get strength. Starts the battle with one overclock charge. Ooh, prep time might be good. Increase max. So she's got... So one level down, but she has a lot less HP. She has more energy. She has five attacks. She has three defense. Well, let's go kill Tiger. I feel like this is important. I wonder how many people you get in your party at once. I'm guessing four based on how many you can fit on that screen, but... Let's go. Alright, follow my orders exactly and I won't ditch you. Wait, can I save my game here too? What, what is this thing? It's creepy looking, even by statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's watchful protector. Oh, not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. Cormac the watchful stares blankly. Save often. Really? The warrior mouse returns. And with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared? Oh, I see before me on an entree in a main Oh my god, this is terrifying. Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. Am I going to kill this cat? Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm going to unleash fire and fury. Alright, let's get it done. Berz Light him up, Sibylon! I'm on it! She doesn't have items and I don't want... Deals bashing... Worm fire. Deal heavy special damage. Suffer! Okay, yeah, I need to be using...
I need to be using this. Oh no, I'm bleeding. I need to use my my rage to subside it anyway, so. Bandages. Oh, and it gives me health too. That's cool. Warm fire. I'm guessing the bash is. Oh, I got him! Levels up. Verm learned cleave. We did it. We actually did it. But we didn't land a killing blow. It doesn't matter. That kitten won't be bothering the village. Thank God it didn't make me kill a cat in this game. That kitten won't be bothering the village anytime soon. Come on, let's give Mammy the good news. I'm guessing you're about to be exiled, but I could use another party member, so I'm okay with that. There we go. And you. I probably want the overclock thing because it's useful. I could also go around this way and get... Goes berserk if an ally falls in battle. Interesting. Uh, deals extra damage against machines. That's interesting. Fire attacks deal extra damage if max HP. Healing items used by Civil Hondo. So however you want to build them, basically. So I'm going to go down this path first and get that overclock thing because I feel like that's important. I got news for you. I think your mammy's about to uh, ditch you. But that'll be okay. You can come with me. I could use a wizard. Save often. Hey, can I go this way and find stuff? No, that's blocked. Okay. Well, I kind of like that, that I'm not, like, accidentally wandering around like in Dragon Quest games sometimes. And then you end up in a place with, like, 20 level enemies higher than you. Do, do, do. You guys want to tell me anything different? You gave Tiger a thrashing. The old lady won't be happy, but good on you, lad. Oh, well, if everyone's going to mention it, then we got to try to stay out of mischief. This village is seeing enough of it. All right. I wonder if I can find improved god weapons. Heading to Murder, are you? I'll see. If you see the young king, give him a middle finger from me. No, I will not do that to a king. Is it true you and Sibahan gave Tiger a thumping? That's wild. Maybe it's safe to go play now. Never mind. Oh, wait. I can go into here and look at stuff. Missing a part. This device looks complicated, but none of the buttons do anything. Runes are strange. You cannot read god writing. Uh, I thought maybe there was something useful in here, but there's not. It's just her stash. wonder if I have to fight bugs. They would be appropriate size to be dangerous to mice. Like bears. Bug bears! I beat the philidine. Well, Sibohan and I did. Turns out his weakness was being set on fire. Ha! Ah, fire. That's right, is it? Maybe you'll be a fine warrior yet. But the warrior's path is a perilous one, so be on your go. You didn't give me anything. You were an old man who told me that you used to fight. You should be giving me stuff. That's how RPGs work. Why are you still here, Vagabond? I thought I made myself clear. Mommy, you never guess what. Sir Verm and I fought off Tiger. We actually did it. You? You slayed the Felidy? Well, we didn't quite slay it, but we certainly sent him running. That mangy monster will be licking his wounds for seasons. My word, Sibohan. I knew you were no dainty lady, but this, this is something else. Don't you have anything to say, Mommy? I do. You disappoint me, Sibohan. I disappoint you. I freed us from Tiger's tyranny. You short-sighted fool of a daughter. What will happen if the gods see us as a threat? Blades and poison, fire and water, they would rain hell down on us, and it would be the end of Cranbale. Mommy, get out. Fine. Come on, Verm, I'll see you to the entrance. No, Sibohan, leave. Leave? 
You want to be a warrior so much, like your father was? You want to tinker with God tours and fight titans? Well, fine. You've got your wish. I'm exiling you from Cram Bailwoods. Called it! Mommy? Go on. Leave. Don't come back. Verm, wasn't it? You've caused enough damage here, I think. Whatever. You know, I came here because I heard Cranbear was the gathering place of the smartest minds in Rodentia. But all I found was stubborn idiots. Do you want to follow the old way or do you want to survive? The old way is survival. The old way is dead. Sibohan gets that. Why can't you? Get out! Was I too harsh on Sibohan, Lord Master? A harsh lesson is sometimes needed, my lady. But perhaps if it would ease my lady's worries, I could send a butterfly? A butterfly? To the king. A formal request to overwatch the girl should she enter murder. Very well. Come on, Sibohan. Let's get going. Oh, there you are. What what am I supposed to do now? Anything you want. Can I come with you? Anything but that. I've got a job to do. <laughs> they say that two people shorten the road. Don't follow me. I said don't follow me. You're a liability. Was I a liability against Tiger? No. You're okay. Just okay. But you're going to murder, right? I can help you get there. I don't need a chaperone. Sir Verm, I know I'm not the greatest fighter, and I don't know what this yellow god is you're after, but I want to learn, and I want to help. What do you say? Fine or whatever. <laughs> Damn railroad plot. Fine. We'll go to murder together. After that, who knows? Thank you, Sir Verm. I won't let you down. And with that, our heroes advanced. <laughs>